Hello, this is <laughs> What's poppin', everybody? It's your boy. You already should know who it is. If you don't know who it is, me, Prado G. And boy, am I glad to have you here. <laughs> you could be doing a million things right now, but right now you're watching me. And there's no other greater thing that I could really be appreciated for right now other than that. Like, so let's just give you a moment of gratification for giving this video a click. There's no 100% specific topic in this video today. It's just really about Sunday and how I now see Sunday versus how I used to see Sunday when I was younger. I used to hate Sundays. Like, like every time a Sunday would come, boy, I was pissed. Like, what you mean? I got school tomorrow. But I was such a, I don't know, like, a equally pessimistic, optimistic person. So <laughs> even when I was thinking Pepto, ah, Pepto Bismol, not Pepto Bismol, when I was thinking pessimistically, I still even had a lot of optimism behind it. So even though I used to can't stand Sundays and stuff like that, that's how I used to feel. Like I can't stand Sundays. Now I freaking love them. But the reason I realize now, the reason I used to hate Sundays was because Sunday meant school and I didn't want to go to school all the time. Not because I was like dumb or anything like or ignorant. It was just, I didn't feel like going to school sometimes. Like, why do I have to go to school? And then just certain things that they teach you in school sometimes, it's just a little annoying, but we're not even going to dig deep into that conversation. We're talking about Sundays and how you can make Sunday a fun day and how you can make any day a fun day, really. The way that you make your life fun is by you being a fun person. <laughs> Stop blaming the day for you not having a fun life. Stop blaming your sister, your brother, cousin, your friend for you not having a fun life because it ain't nobody fault but yours. You gotta find that funness within yourself. You gotta be able to have fun with yourself regardless to who's around. If you wanna have a fun life, period. You should not be relying on people necessarily to make your life fun. Now, there's nothing wrong with um, having other people that come into your life that make your life more fun. Yeah, more fun. That's the key word, more fun. Am I looking at the camera like, I'm sitting here looking at the camera the whole time. I think I'm supposed to be looking at myself. Sorry, y'all. If that video was a little weird, it looked like I was staring off the screen or something. I don't know. I was looking at the camera and I should have been looking at me. See, I know how to have fun with myself. I'm not so hard on myself. When you're too hard on yourself, that's why it's hard for you to have fun with yourself because you're always judging yourself and always looking at yourself as if you're less than or the way that you're acting is crazy or cringy. You gotta realize, no matter what you do, there's always gonna be somebody out there that's vibrating a lower frequency than you that's gonna be hating on you. People that are at a more negative state in their life than you always find something negative to say about everything. People having fun, they got something negative to say. People making money, they got something negative to say. People connecting with their family members, they got something to say. People living their passions and their dreams to the fullest, they got something negative to say, you feel me? Because that's all they can see. That's why it's not good for you to have a negative mentality because when you have a negative mentality, all you are looking at is in the direction of negativity. And when you look in the direction of negativity, that's all you can receive. Like. You're only going to see life in a negative way when you think about it being negative. There's literally two sides to every coin. So going back to the day of Sunday, there's two sides to that coin. We want to call that coin Sunday. Just like your hand, there's two sides to your hand as well. There's really more sides to it, but we're going to simplify it to two sides. You got the front and the back. You got the positive and the negative, or however you want to see it. The positive and the negative, however you want to see it. And whatever one you look at is what you get. This is why people be like, why are you so positive? Or they be like, how are you always so positive? Because I used to be so negative all the time and I realized that that did not make me feel good. So you gotta try to find the positivity in every situation. Literally, if you don't do that, you're cutting yourself off. You are pinching yourself off from having a beautiful life because you choose to look at the negative aspect instead of the beautiful aspect. Now let's get deep real quick. 
I can see why a lot of people feel like my life is horrible or you're, it's easy for you to say that you have AirPods, you know, something as minuscule as that. But what y'all don't realize is that we all come from a certain background. And just because the foreground of who I am looks like I'm wealthy or, you know, it gives off the image that I have a lot of stuff. Everybody has a lot of stuff. Even the people that don't have as much stuff as me still have a lot of stuff. And the most valuable things that you have is this God-given energy, this God-given physicality. Let me break down these words a little bit. Our hands, <laughs> our eyes, our mouth, everything about us is here to allow us to create the reality that we want to live in. And when you are using these God-given parts for destruction, instead of complimenting the world for giving you such a huge blessing to excel and be great, but you're always finding every reason to be negative and hate, you're making your life worse and worse. It's like you're sinking down, down, down instead of going up, 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 or you're sinking or you're pulling yourself or pushing yourself further and further and further away from that happy life that you could be living. But the more positive you are, you are closing that gap. The more you can just find something to be grateful about, like the fact that it's Sunday. Well, it's not Sunday no more. It was Sunday when I recorded this, but it might be Sunday when you're watching this. I don't know. It's another day. The world hasn't ended. People talking about World War Three, or people talking about 2012 was going to be the end of the world. Like, but we're still here. So that's a blessing right now. Like Sunday is a blessing. You are able to watch this video today. You have some sort of device, some sort of TV, some sort of phone, some sort of internet connection to even be able to connect with me right now in this video. And I know you're receiving this message so well. That's the reason why I'm leaving this video for y'all today so that you could look back on any Sunday or any day for that matter that you're not having a great day. So you can have that constant reminder that A, somebody out there loves you even when you don't love yourself the way that you should. There's always somebody out there that does. And you have to love yourself though. Because if you don't love yourself, you're literally out of alignment. You're out of alignment and you need to get back in alignment. Because your truest self, all of us, the deepest extent, the deepest essence and the highest truth to who we all are is love. We are all born out of love and love is all that we have. But there's a such thing as love and there's a such thing as not love. You don't want to fall into the not love category because then that's where everything becomes heavy and hard and depressing and dark because you're not opening yourself up to receiving all the light and the beauty and the just the experience that life has waiting for you. You're only going to experience what you believe. And if you believe nothing but negativity, then that's why you are experiencing a reality that you live and you can't be mad at anybody else until you want to get up and do something about it. Nobody can speak for you. Nobody can think for you. Nobody can act for you. Only you can do that. So it's your responsibility to do something else. Do something different. Try try looking at the more positive side of life and just see where that gets you. I want you always to expect the best for yourself. So expect your life to get better the more positive you're being. But you got to realize in the process of you being positive, negative situations are still going to be around you and you still have to hold firm to your positivity. You can't let go of your positivity when a negative circumstance comes around, you know, because every circumstance or every situation, every experience that you have through your life is a neutral experience, but it's up to the person that's going through the experience to make that experience either positive or negative. You don't have to look at anything in life as bad or good. Just see everything as neutral until you touch it. Then when you touch it, you got to ask yourself, what am I making out of this? I love y'all so much and appreciate your days, especially this day.